Hey guys, it's Hadi and this is my 2001 Integra The Crosser. So I discovered an oil leak and it's coming from the distributor. So it's probably time for me to replace the distributor O-ring. And that's what I'll be showing you how to do today. So now I'm going to show you the oil leak that I was talking about. Okay, so this is the distributor right here and you can see it's somewhat covered in oil over here and some of the oil actually had dripped down to this area as well and some over here as well. And if you can see the coolant temp sensor over there is also slightly covered in oil which is bad because it can actually damage the sensor as well. So. It's about time that I fix this issue and replace the distributor o-ring. Okay, so there's three bolts that you need to remove to get the distributor out. This is the first one right here. Second one is down here. And I'm actually missing the third one that goes into that hole right there. Right there. And the reason why that is is because when I swapped in my uh, newly built B-Tech motor, I didn't have the uh, distributor for the VTEC motor and so we just took this one and cut off the one of the legs for the bolts so that's what happened and that's why I'm missing this one because when I blew my VTEC motor and went back to the LS motor uh, this is the only distributor that I have so that's why I'm missing one but yeah so for now I only have two bolts to remove so for those of you who don't have a timing light gun, you need a ruler and some sort of marking uh, tool. I'm using a Sharpie right now so that you can mark down where uh, your distributor is currently at so that it doesn't mess up your timing. Because if you don't have the tool, you won't be able to set your timing. So let me show you how to mark it. So what you want to do is put the ruler down here then make sure that it's straight that's all you need to do okay so now when you remove this bolt right here to uninstall the distributor you'll know exactly where to position the distributor when you uh, bolt it back up by following this line right here this is very important because this is how you actually set the timing uh, for the motor by sliding it um, back and forth by rotating the distributor and so you want to make sure that um, you position it back to where it is so that you know for sure that you have the correct timing for your motor especially if you do not have the timing light gun so there you go so now you're gonna need a ratchet and a 12 millimeter deep socket if you have the shorter socket and an extension that works as well <clears throat> So that's the first one out. Now for the top bolt, you're going to need a 12 millimeter wrench. So here's the second one out. So after taking out the bolts, you should be able to remove the distributor like that. Now that the distributor is out, you can use a mini screwdriver or even your finger to actually push this thing down to get the clip out. I'm going to use the mini screwdrivers because it's easy to, for you guys to see. So you're going to push it down 
and it should come right off like that. And then you're going to press this button right here. And it should come off. So now you're going to replace the old o-ring with the new o-ring. And for that you're going to need a pick tool. So you're going to use the pick tool to pretty much go underneath the old o-ring. And get it out. So that's the old one. So this is the new one. And you're just going to slowly put it over and back to where it's supposed to be, which is right there. So before putting the distributor back on, I would like to clean up some of the mess that the oil leak has made and some new ones as well when I took out the distributor with some rags and some parts wash. So this is after a little bit of cleaning. As you can see, it looks a lot better than before. This is the cloth that I actually used to wipe off most of the oil. And so I guess we're ready to put the distributor back on. So you're going to put it back into that bracket and here for that click and then now we're ready to put the distributor back on. Okay and then now you want to make sure that the line here is straight and aligned as you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to hand tighten the bolts in, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now we're going to use a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten the top bolt, just making sure that it's snug, not too tight. and a 12 millimeter deep socket to tighten the bottom one. that's pretty much how you replace a distributor o-ring. I actually got a chance to take a look at the cap and rotor and found that they're kind of worn out too. So that's probably going to be my next project, replacing the cap and rotor. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe and thank you again for watching and stay tuned. Bye!